In the stillness of the mountains of northern Philippines, light is man-made marvels. Created up to 2,000 years ago according to some scholars and then handed down for generations up to the present, they've been called a supreme national symbol of the Philippines. These are the rice terraces of the Philippine Cordilleras. Known locally as the Dandang Palayan, the Banaway Rice Terraces is one of the UNESCO World Heritage Sites being a source of pride not only for the people of Ifugao but also to the whole of the Philippines. It was known to be built thousands of years ago by only using handmade tools. Despite this, it was able to withstand the test of time which shows the engineering splendor of the Fugaos serving as one of the marvelous man-made works contributed by our Philippine ancestors to humanity. Currently, they continue taking care of it to show respect to their ancestors and to maintain its historical heritage. Banawe Rice Terraces exhibits a unique beauty of nature that signifies the harmony among the people and the environment and became one of the primary tourist spots in the country. As a result, it brought a lot of economic benefits to the area and the country. Upon the recognition, extensive demand for tourism like accommodations, transport, attractions, and food was created. In addition, the cultural identity of the locals was known, which enhanced the livelihood of society. Despite its grandeur, a question then arises. Why was it made? Having been on the highlands, the natives must have had difficulty planting rice because one cannot simply farm and plant rice without a flat area. So, the natives devised and crafted stone and mud walls, which were able to hold the flooded pond fields to cultivate rice. Furthermore, the water used for irrigation was done by harvesting it from mountaintop forests. As a result, the Banawe rice terraces has given the locals a stable source of food and living. However, the positive effects of Banawe rice terraces to its environment are not in a significant amount, which means the negative impact is greater in return. Recent studies have shown that the effect of the terraces has lowered the fertility of soil because it has been drained and dried out from all the rice growing. It also caused problems with water supply because Water is lost through the dry paddies and soil erosion. There are many more negative effects like polluted river, acidic soils, and loss of natural habitats for animals. The rice terraces have affected the water quality in rivers and lakes. Rice paddies occupy a wide surface area, so there is a big chance that sediment will be deposited into the streams. The sedimentation from farming activities has contributed to the poor water quality of streams and lakes as well as rivers. There are few ways to improve and restore our terraces. One would be from restoring the fang irrigation systems and building sheds for agricultural equipment to reforesting areas cleared by fire and planting higher yielding crops to generate sustainable income among the locals. With this said, through developing the fields, the farmers can use the terrace for their own benefit as well as agriculture gain. By applying this framework, one goal that can be achieved is to improve these terraces by making them sustainable with the help of the people.